Shalom, shalom. Yes, as you can see, I'm back in front of the camera with um, sweaty clothes on, um, back from the gym. But I just wanted to share with you uh, just a quick, uh, quick word, and uh, it's about allowing Father to lift your heavy burdens. And it's not a matter of him not being able to, it's a matter of us allowing him uh, to lift the heavy burdens. Um, because you know what, we, we're all human beings. We all collapse under the weight um, of things that, circumstances and things. And it doesn't mean that we're, we're completely void of faith. It doesn't mean that we have no trust in Father. The weight of our circumstances, the weight of things uh, in our lives, our relationships, um, and things just it, it, it weighs on us, and we we have to be driven um, to Father to to cry out. There has to be, and sometimes He just allows it. Yep, stack on another brick because. It's what he's producing in us in the end that really matters. And, um, you know, I've talked about walking the hard road. I've talked about reading that book um, while I'm here in, uh, in Babylon. And um, it, it, really, it really challenged me um, to, to look at my life different. It really challenged me to look at persecution and, um, and enduring and running the race. You know, my, my little sister, uh, not so little, she's like bigger than me, meaning that she, of muscle mass. Um, she's petite, but she's like a walking muscle. Um, she trains very hard. Um, I've had uh, two of my sisters run marathons. My, my little sister, she's gonna be running a marathon. And uh, she's training hard. And um, it's not a, it's not a fun process. It's, um, I, I don't think that right now that I have it in me to train for a marathon. Um, my knees would be like, are you serious? What are you doing here? Um, I wanted to read uh, just a couple of scriptures, but you know, talking about being weak, and, and one, of my, one of my favorite uh, chapters, um, Chapter 12 of 2 Corinthians, where Shaul Paul talks about his, his thorn in the flesh. Um, and he's talking about concerning the things that this particular thorn in the flesh, that he, he cried out to Father to take it from him. The Father's response, Yahuwah's response, My grace, my favor is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Now, if we can get that into us. Um, he he evidently got a he got a hold of that. Shaul got a hold of that because he said, "Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Messiah may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Shaul's sake." Now. For Messiah's sake, he takes pleasure in those things. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And you know, Father has, he loves getting the esteem. And why not? Because he's the creator of the universe. He, he pulls such crazy things in our minds. No, 32,000 against what? A couple of million, probably, in the, the time of Gideon. Yeah, that's too many. So he whittled it down to 300. Really? 300. Because he does not want man to, to glory and, and get all the credit. So he, he whittles it down to a ridiculous amount because he wants to make sure that he is esteemed in the eyes of Israel for what purpose and what reason to draw us back to him. And how about uh, Yehoshaphat? He goes out um, facing an enormous army. 
2 Chronicles 20, one of my favorites. He goes out to face an enormous army. And, and, and what happens? What does he do? He, send, he sends singers to praise the name of Yahuwah. And what happens? Confusion falls upon the enemy. They don't know what to do. Because confusion falls upon those that are, are the enemies of, of Yahuwah. They, they can't find any rest. You know that you're an enemy. Some part of you is in defiance of his rule over your life, which is an enemy. You're at enmity if you're part of the world with Yahuwah. And the evidence of that is no peace, no rest. Same as what he did with the watchers, no rest. Nope, you're not going to have any rest. You're not going to rise. You will rise to your damnation, um, basically. And I want to finish off with um, pressing towards the goal. And one of my favorites, Philippians 3, 12. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which for that which Messiah Yahushua has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of Elohim in Messiah Yahushua. It's, it's a pressing it's a pressing in. It's a, I want this. And you know what? If you don't have that pressing, that desire to, to dive in, to press in, to, to win that goal, which is what's required to attain our salvation, uh, we don't attain it unless we, um, we persevere. It is by endurance that we, um, that we lay hold of our salvation. It's by, it's by reaching the end and not giving up. And pray for that if you don't have it. Because I understand what it, ha what it means and I still battle with it. I still battle with just, uh, let's just sit back. No, I don't feel like going to the gym today. No, I don't feel like, you know, I'm not a gym fanatic. I'm just doing it because of my health. But I want and we should want and desire to be passionate for Father. Pray for that passion. Pray, seek Him and ask Him, Father, He already knows your heart. He already knows your heart that you don't want to do what is right, what you should be doing, and that's pressing in hard into His Word. So pray for that desire because you know what? He will meet you exactly where you're at as long as you're truthful, you will bring your heart to the table and say, here it is. And he's calling us to follow him, and it's a hard road. Walk the hard road, and you'll be glad that you did. Because narrow is the way that leads to life. He's after your heart. Let him catch up. Let him find you. But you've got to slow down. You've got to stop running. Don't know if I'm talking to somebody, but I am talking to me sometimes. Sometimes I run away. Sometimes I don't want to go under persecution. Sometimes I don't want to deal with difficulties. I'm like, are you serious? We, we got to go th through this road again? Yeah, Derek, because you didn't get it the first time, or the third, or the fifteenth time. So we got to go around this mountain again. So, um, get out there and seek Him. If you don't have the desire to seek Him, ask Him for the desire to seek Him and then seek Him. Because time, time is short. Things are collapsing in. The world is, is collapsing in on top of itself. It's imploding. And um, just wanted to reach out to you guys and just say uh, blessings to you. And um, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, joy in the master for when I am weak then he is strong blessings